Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing my official setup for the Louis Vuitton PM agenda. This is my wallet. Um, I've had it for almost a month and I've just been building it um, as inserts and items have come in and I've just loved using this. This fits in every single clutch because I have a lot of large clutches that I own. I can fit it in the pocket of my organizer in my tote and it's just the perfect size. Um, and I just love the way that I've set this up. So the side isn't as, you know, aesthetic, if you will, um, as most people's, but again, I use it as a wallet. And so this is designed to be more functional. And so I have my two main debit cards, um, for my credit union and my bank, and then my driver's license. And then in this pocket, I have my joint debit card with a photo of Mira on it. And that is just for joint, like for groceries and for joint bills. Um, if you watch my vid budget videos, I kind of go over in details what each card's for. But that's everything that I keep on the side. So I can easily open this and grab what I need. And I use these cards more than anything. And then um, on the rings, I have these cloth and paper top tab dividers. And then this first section is for my inbox, then we have plans, and then we have notes. And so again, this is more for function than anything, but I did want to grab a few decorative items. For example, this JL Plans dashboard, this JL Plans film dashboard on Etsy. I'll have everything that I can link, link to below, but I absolutely love this dashboard. So I have this in all of my Louis Vuitton agendas. And then we have this do which you want to be known for dashboard from Cloth and Paper. This is probably my favorite um, Cloth and Paper dashboard. I just love the quote. And I love the way that they layer together. And then um, we have our inbox system. And so this is from Cloth and Paper, including the inbox inserts. And this is just for on the go items that need to jot down or you might need a plan. And then that's everything in the inbox system. Typically, I would just have the inbox behind the tab, but I don't like when my vellum gets, you know, scratched or starts to lift. So I put everything behind this first tab so it protects the vellums. Um, and I don't mind just doing like a little flip in here because there's not that much in here. Moving on to the second tab. So I have this Ollie clip on here. Normally, if I don't use the inbox, I just have my Ollie clip like up here. It all kind of depends on what I'm using. Um, but because I do plan on using my inbox probably this week, I just made it easier and clipped it to the um, second tab where my plans are. But I do like to use this so I can clip in any cash. So this is cash that I need to deposit. Um, and then I just have it flipping to the first monthly insert. And I have this on the first tab so I can see the yearly overview if I need it. Um, and this is from Infinite Lotus and it's just a um, overview. It's a vellum dashboard and I have this in all my planners. It's just a nice little reference. This is also a nice reference. But in here I have six months worth of plans and these are from Infinite Lotus as well. And I have everything color coded throughout all of my agendas. So these are all top paper coat stickers. This is the Cafe Calmeche. This is the Champagne Toast. And um, these are personal, so these are birthdays. And then this one is for um, work, and so that's a work event. And then I just have holidays, doctor's appointments, and so on. And then I'm really excited to have a color coding system for all of my planners to make it easier, um, especially to track different plans, since I do reference um, pretty much this monthly view in all of my planners. The chocolate milk stickers are for school. Again, we have another personal. I already set most of these pages up just with items like birthdays and events that I know are going on just so I have it in here. And this will be more so to track appointments. Um, but I'm just going to clip my cash back here so I have that. Um, but we have that. And then that's everything in this section. And so I was going to do a full year, but it wouldn't fit with what I wanted to put in here. So I just have the six months, which works perfectly. 
And then the next section is notes. So I just have these task inserts from cloth and paper in here. And this is just so I can track down things that I wanna do if I have a long list of errands. Um, I think I'm just gonna do like an ongoing like task list on here. Um, and just different things like that. If I wanna put a grocery list in here, I'll do that. But for the most part, this is just for any notes that I might need. And the last item in here is from Amazon. This is a Filofax card holder and I love this. So um, I did trim it so that I could hold more items. So I love this. I did take it out temporarily and I put it back in probably like two days later because um, I was shopping and I didn't have my cards. So like I mentioned, this is my wallet. And so um, I do wanna get the Louis Vuitton key pouch and that way I can hold like my store cards in there and keep my main cards in here because I don't use these you know every day like I don't go to Nordstrom every day but it is nice to have them so right now I'm using this from Filofax and um, I just have all of my store cards but yeah and other than that that is the setup I love it again this isn't you know as decorative or as cute but it's very functional it's what I want this for it's what I need this for and I just love it so other than that, that is my pocket setup and that is going to be it for this video. If you all have any questions, just let me know. I'll try and have everything linked below. I have a discount code with Infinite Lotus and Top Paper Co. that I'll have down below. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm.